Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the MSI Vector GP78HX 13V. If you want to see the internals of this powerful device, you have to undo 13 Phillips head screws. Then you have to flip the laptop in order to remove the plastic shroud behind the lid. To do that, you can start popping the shroud from one of the two sides that are close to the bottom panel, and then you can work your way around the back side. Now you can safely lift the hinge cover away from the laptop. With that out of the way, we can clearly see the back end of the bottom plate. You can carefully pry it with a plastic tool. When it's done, you need to open the lid and pry through the base. You have to flip the machine upside down and raise the bottom plate by holding firmly the two exhaust vents on the back. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. Here, we have a 90 watt hour battery pack. Unplug the battery connector before undoing the four Phillips head screws which are fixing the unit in place. The capacity is enough for 5 hours and 33 minutes of web browsing or 4 hours and 32 minutes of video playback. There is a protective metal cover above the RAM section. It's glued to the plastic parts of the slots with a small pad so don't pull out the metal cap too harshly. The two SODIMs fit up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz memory in dual channel mode. For storage, there are two M.2 slots, one for Gen 4 SSDs and one for the latest and greatest Gen 5 NVMEs. There are two thick cooling pads below the pre-installed SSD. The cooling is a true monstrosity. It comprises two fans and three thick heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU. There is one extra heat pipe for the processor, as well as two more for the video card's VRMs and memory. We can spot two heat spreaders. The huge one is on the GPU side. 
The system is also complemented by four big heat sinks. 